now let's kick it off. Our next series, the next big thing. From cool new phones to the latest in life-saving devices, we're going to look at the gadgets that are going to have everybody talking and maybe spending, hence trading. Today we kick it off with tablets. Some say they could be the death blow for the old laptop. You can't see mine, but it's here. And gosh, this thing's basically dead anyway. Apple led the charge, but the competition is creeping up. So what is the next big thing in this crowded market, and how should you be trading the tablet wars? Let's talk about the next big thing with Noah Kravitz, editor-in-chief of PhoneDog.com, and then the trade with Jimmy Orio, TJM Institutional Director. Okay, good to have you with us. Noah, I mean, this is front page uh, news everywhere. We're going to have the biggest consumer electronics event uh, of the year this week in Germany. All these tablets are going to be on display. Uh, is there a real competitor coming out to the iPad? Well, Aaron, for your sake, I hope so, because I know you're not fond of that iPod name. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll push for something new. Yeah, you know, there will be, uh, similar to what happened or what's happening in the smartphone wars, you know, Google Android unleashed a ton of, you know, so-called iPhone killers. Same thing is starting to happen now with uh, the tablets. And, you know, it's funny. My, my website's called Phone Dog. Not so long ago, this is what we covered, right? It actually had these crazy things called buttons on them. <laughs> then, we, then we moved in the past few months to this, still a cell phone, a little bit bigger, big screen, front camera for chatting, kickstand on the back. And now, you know, like you said, we're into this territory. So here's the iPad, it's a nine inch display. Uh, the big one coming out, you know, a few of them will be on display at IFA in Germany, as, as you said. The, the big headliner is gonna be the Samsung Galaxy Tab, hmm. which is uh, an Android based device, seven inch screen, so it'll be, you know, a little bit smaller than the iPad. Um, lots of rumors about it and Samsung has leaked some specs and uh, what we're seeing actually just today we saw a bunch of accessories designed to help you integrate the device uh, into your home so to use it you know as a sort of de facto home entertainment system hooked up to your uh, big screen TV in the living room and that sort of thing. Ah. So I think I think one of the differentiators that some of the companies are hoping uh, to push and to sell people on is you know what did Apple leave out? Uh, Front-facing camera for video chat. Easy ways to dock it into you know your your other products the rest of your lifestyle. High definition video that sort of thing. So these are some of the things that. Um, you know, these other companies are hoping will really create a tablet war and not just the sort of Apple effect where they sold three million, right. everybody was gonna buy one, bought one, and we're done. All right, so I, I wanna get I wanna get your sense of what might be or everyone says is a category killer, Noah, but first, Jim Iorio, how do you trade this? I mean, you know, we've got lots of these coming out. Samsung, uh, as Noah was saying, has one. Toshiba, Motorola, Dell, Samsung, a lot of big companies are in this space. Yeah, but only two that really matter most because we've seen this happen in the smartphone becomes Apple and Google leading the way. And right now to say Apple's the leader is kind of underselling it. Apple's really the only one. There's just kind of rumors of things that are com coming to challenge that. Um, but you look behind the curtain at Apple. We give App uh, Apple tons of, we heap praise on them for being the technological leaders, which they are. Pull the curtain back a little bit. You see the chip makers. Broadcom makes the chips. They make the chips that, that do the touch screens. They make the connectivity chips. Um, is everything going that way? Forrester Research did a, a poll saying that more people plan on buying a tablet in the next year than they do a computer, a netbook, or a notebook. Wow. Um, yes, it's, it's that way. And the whole thing with 3PAR, the bidding war with 3PAR, the cloud is to facilitate the, uh, the yeah. mobile devices as well eventually too. So absolutely it's going to be the thing. Broadcom is a company with zero debt, two and a half billion dollars of cash on its books. They had a key reversal day on Friday where they made a lower low and then a higher high and closed strong. They're having yeah. a little bit of difficult time today, but that's still a pretty good Good uh, buy signal to me on Friday. Yeah, pretty amazing. We're all going to be using these touches, so we get used to no them. No question about it. I, I, yeah. I wonder. Uh, you know, producer Robert Ham was saying once. He said, "What's going to happen when all these touch screens? That, you know, sort of. Sometimes they freeze up and stuff. You know, they all might just die at once, and then have to have a big replacement cycle." Uh, very quickly before we go, Noah, though, Motorola Stingray is it really going to be uh, the the iPad killer or not? Well, you know, talk, talking about chip makers, that's going to be powered by NVIDIA. And uh, they've been showing stuff off in prototype form for a few years that's been very impressive. So one of the big plays on that is going to be video. Uh, hearing possibly, it, it's going to launch on Verizon, made by Motorola, powered by NVIDIA, launched on Verizon. It may have a cable TV aspect to it. Uh, 3D is another thing I'm hearing a lot about, just in tablets in general. So I think in the US, that'll be the big iPad rival, mainly because, you know, like you said, at Google and also Verizon, behind it and that'll get it you know in the Verizon stores as opposed to the dime a dozen other tablets that could okay. show up in Walmart or Best Buy but not 
you know, in the carrier store where people tend to buy these things. All right, Noah, Jim, thanks very much. Appreciate it. And viewers, thanks, let us Aaron. know what you think. Do you think that we're all going to really go touch screen or is this is it really the next big thing or not? Uh, tomorrow, though, we're going to talk about the next big thing, and this is car technology. Who has the best gadget for the